What would be the optimal time to train? Does it matter if it's endurance? Does it matter if it's weights? Is it the actual muscle contraction or is it the increase in catecholamines or other markers or, or other, um, you know, biological yeah. compounds that, that make the difference? Yeah. So, um, you know, exercise, any exercise. Because you know we're going to train after this, right? You, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, didn't yeah, tell yeah. you that. We're doing some yeah. push-ups. Yeah, and then yeah. A couple hours later, maybe we'll do a cold plunge. No. Yeah. Uh, so the bottom line is any exercise is better than no exercise. Let's make, totally. make it sure that that's, that um, message goes across because uh, the median step counts in the U.S. now is 3,000 steps which is way, way lower than uh, what you would expect. Yeah. It should be at least 7,000 or more. Um, so that's just step counts. And less than 5% of people actually get recommended level of exercise in the US. So any exercise is better than no exercise. Fair, fair. So then we should think about, okay, so what time and why? Um, so there are, again, this is a field that has very rich history of what time Athletic performance, for example, peaks. Uh, going back to mid-80s when people looked at uh, NFL players' uh, <laughs> performance of winning, and then they found that when West Coast team flew to East Coast and played against the home team, they had a much better chance of winning against the home team, and the odds were much better than Las Vegas' odds score. So it was much better if you knew when the players actually flew on Sunday whether they flew on Sunday, and then if they played on Monday, then they had a higher chance. The reason being, um, you know, athletic performance or physical performance is a product of many of our organs acting together, our heart, our lung, our skeletal muscle, even motor coordination, all of these brain function, all of them have to work together along with fuel utilization. And all of these processes are controlled by circadian rhythm and the optimum it's almost like all the stars align for better performance because um, that's also the time when our core body temperature is slightly higher. So body temperature is higher, so that means our joints are more flexible and we have less risk for injury. So that means we can push ourselves faster, harder. So what time? So it's um, late afternoon. I'll leave. Again, this is all related to your light-dark cycle and your eating-fasting cycle, but in general, it's... Uh, um, late afternoon, I'll leave it. <laughs>